you know, when I see students get to the point where something clicks with them, when there are magic moments in the classroom, when some topic that seemed mysterious all of a sudden becomes clear, uh, that is very inspirational. Also, what's very rewarding is when students complete and they go out and are successful. I'm always hearing from them. They're always writing back and telling me about this or that. And that's, that's very gratifying and inspiring. He really is an exceptional teacher. Um, and he does it in a way that the way he teaches that isn't necessarily high tech like some people do. We have some teachers who are very good because they keep bringing in new technology. Joe just keeps bringing in good ideas. So I teach uh, principles of operating systems. It's an undergraduate class that students typically take in their junior or senior year, uh, between 100 and 150 students. And uh, it is about the uh, study of operating system design, a classic area of computer science. Joe is uh, a colorful character. Uh, one time I was sitting in my office and I saw a I think it was a six-foot slide rule walking down the hall. And that was Joe. Uh, he gives a course on the slide rule, a uh, freshman seminar. And so, you know, he pulls these amazing things just out of thin air. Uh, I also teach some seminars, one on uh, the slide rule. What I like about the subject is that students see how much uh, engineers and scientists were able to do without computers. The other uh, seminar that I teach is also a very popular one on um, what I call the science of casino games. And here the students basically learn about some basic games, uh, blackjack and craps, uh, poker, how to calculate odds. Uh, an important aspect of the class is knowing how to do all of the calculations, why uh, the odds are the way they are. They learn some important uh, ideas about how to take risk and how to quantitatively evaluate that risk. It's a subject that certainly is not beneath us to teach at the university because uh, great mathematicians like uh, Pascal and Fermat developed the whole discipline of uh, probability based on understanding issues of gambling. Uh, even my uh, personal hero Galileo wrote papers on dice. It's a fun seminar and it's a seminar that the students actually get something valuable from. They all come in thinking they're going to learn how to make a lot of money uh, and they all leave knowing the unfortunate truth that um, the house has the advantage. I just happened to stick my head in on one of those classes just to see how it was going and the kids were so engaged. They were figuring out all, all the odds. It was clear they were understanding it inside out. Joe says he teaches his class because he wants kids to know why they shouldn't gamble. And he certainly is doing a great job at, at educating them on, on all these things, but in fact the kids just have a blast. There's sort of this paradox that uh, the larger the class is, the harder it is for me to connect with all of them. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I like the fact that it's a large class because it's just more students and uh, it gives me the opportunity to connect with as many as possible.